Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a video that I don't think I have ever done before. Excuse my voice if I sound a little odd. I'm just getting over a cold. I may be actually in the worst stages of the cold because um, I've been working a lot and I haven't gotten enough rest. So my voice is a little sore. Sorry about that again. I'm going to do a project pan with my makeup. I didn't count how many items. We can count if you want. Um, I'm just, I pull out everything in my makeup collection that's older and that is mostly, for the most part, used a bit. Like I've hit pan on almost all these items. So these are the products I want to use up in the next year. It doesn't mean they're going to be the only products I use for the next year. I might not finish them, but within the next year they have to go because they're all really old and they need to go <laughs> because makeup does expire. I have eyeshadow, the Naked One palette I bought almost five years ago and I still have it and it's kind of gross. Um, but I can't bring myself to get rid of it because I do like it and I want to use up the colors. It's just I have so many other eyeshadows so it's hard for me. And they have Naked 2. I actually have two of them because um, one was my mom's. And this is from uh, AliExpress. So I took it from her because this is the only one I... These are the only ones I found from AliExpress. I paid $15 for each of them. I bought her one as well. Um, and they're the only ones I've ever found from AliExpress that are the correct colors. So once that's gone, I have to buy the actual one that's 50 something dollars. So of course I kept the other one even though she was ready to throw it out. So I have two of those. And that's because some of the colors she didn't use and they're the ones that I really like. So I have two of them and I don't know how to depot it and like switch it around and I don't want to be bothered with that right now. So I just use both of them when I want to use the naked two. I just take up both naked twos. So, but I counted it as one, I think. And I did my um, makeup inventory account, if you see it, on my makeup collection, which should be up before this. I edited it already, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be up before this video. Anyway, we're going to go on to what I have. So today, when I'm filming this, it's the end of April. It's almost May. you probably see this by the end of May. But for me, my account's going to start May 1st. So that means by May 1st next year, this stuff has to be gone. And I will look back on this video on May 1st gotta be gone. <laughs> so, it's a bit ridiculous now. I'm going to start, like I said, with the palettes. I have the Naked 2. I mean, the Naked 1. And will I repurchase this? No, because I do like it, but the thing is, I only like a few of the colors. And it costs $54. This one's a real one, so I pay $54 for it. I'm going to do it so I don't get makeup all over myself. You guys can see that. As you can see, I had pan on almost every eyeshadow. The only ones I haven't are this one because I don't like it. Um, this was a really good eyebrow shade. I used that. I might try to use this for my eyebrows, but this one was closer to my eyebrows because I'm blonde. But I might use this as well. I've been using this gold color recently, like almost every day, just so I can use it. So I use these two together, and I'll use this as a um, like V, like outer V shade. This and this I used to use together with the um, Hustle on the Outer V. But the Outer V is um, something I don't do as often. I mean, I do it, but I don't use as much of it. And these two I don't think I'm ever going to use. So I might end up getting rid of this palette even if I have these two. Because I don't ever use black eyeshadow. Because I don't do smoky looks. I don't ever use a gray eyeshadow. I mean, it's really nice and they're really pigmented. And they're really like... That's the gray. And that's the black. Next are the two Naked 2 palettes. First one's going to be the one that's actually mine. So this is what the one that mine looks like. And as you can see, my favorite colors are these two. And I like this one. I don't like this or this. I probably won't use them up, but I might try. I like this one. 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 So those are almost gone, all of those. So the only ones I have left really are these two and this one. And if it gets down to that, I'll probably throw it away. Because I probably won't use it. Okay, and this is my mom's. So she has this one left, which I like. And when I do my eye looks, I like to have a light color for the inner corner and for the brow bone. So I use one of these two. She really liked these. Obviously, she used them. This one. She has this one left. This one, this one. This one and this one she really used. So that's why I have two. Because my mom didn't want to deal with them anymore once they get gross looking, but I still wanted it. Uh, this one, I don't even know how long I had it. It might have been like five years as well. You guys can 
it. Clinique palette is just a quad. That, but this is almost gone and once these two are gone I'm just gonna throw out this palette because I use this on the on the lid this on the brow bone and the inner corner this on the crease and this is the eyeliner so the crease and the eyeliner I just never use up as quickly as everything else so I like to have more lighter colors in my palettes and darker colors again another old palette this is from color design I don't even know what brand that is it might have been given to me um, this I had a long time. I really like these colors though. I'm going to use it up. Um, they're almost all at pan, except like I said, these two darker colors. This one's a really nice, like, um, brown color. But they all have like a hint of pinks and purples to them. That's the one thing I like about it overall. But like you can see, you can see how much I've used the pants. I have this palette, which I've had for a while. It's the Urban Basics from CoverGirl. And like I said, I always hit pan on the lighter colors. It's like ridiculous. I don't know. Is this, is this normal? Because <laughs> I, I don't use the dark colors. I don't, I don't think I've ever touched this. This is an ugly ass color. I'm never using this. It's like a purpley gray. Uh, I don't, really don't like that. I don't know why it's in here. But these three colors are really nice. Um, I'm almost hitting pink on this one too. So this is going to be gone by next year. Hopefully I can make a six month update and be gone. But I don't think it's going to happen because I have so much makeup. This is the CoverGirl Pure Romance. Again, I'm almost hitting pan on these two. This one is almost pan. This one's barely touched. This is really pretty, like, purple tones. I really like the CoverGirl quads. I think they're very good quality for the price. But personally, if I'm going to buy eyeshadows, um, I think I'm just going to go with high-end and buy one or two palettes. Once I'm done everything, I'm not buying anything now. The only thing I'm considering buying high-end is a highlighter. But I don't know if I'm going to buy it because it's $22 Clorox um, Light Source highlighter. Uh, or illuminating powder or whatever the hell they call it. I just watched it at my work and I'm like, oh my god, this is so pretty. I need to not look at things. That's my problem. And now it's makeup at my work, so I'm going to look at things. This eyeshadow I really like. I don't use it that much. The lid broke off. It's from Stila. I, think I use it as a highlighter today, actually. So I might use this as a highlighter instead of an eyeshadow because it's a little too sparkly for a brow bone or a inner corner shade. So I'm using it. It's Steel as Kitten. It's a very popular color on here. I bought this for, I think $12 on eBay. I think the original price is 18. Looks like this is a beautiful color, but I mean, I think it looks better as a highlighter than as an eyeshadow. So maybe I'll use it as that and I'll use it up quicker. I have this Ulta Quad. What's the color of this? Classic eyeshadow quad. It looks like this. Again, the colors that I wear. The browns and the taupey colors. As you can see, gone pan. <laughs> almost gone. So these two are lid colors. This I use as the brow bone and this I use as the inner corpse. This one's almost gone. Like I said, when these three are gone, that's it. I'm just going to throw it away. Because there's no point in me keeping it. Because I'm not just going to use a dark color. There's always too many dark colors in palettes. For me, like, this is what I do every day. This kind of look. This I use the Naked. I used the Naked 1 or 2 today. I think I used the Naked 1. Um, this is the Benefit in Beautiful Eyes Contour Kit. This I got on AliExpress. And it reminds me of, like, the, a lot of the palettes that I like, like Naked 3. Um, which my Naked 3 is a lot newer than my other Naked, so that's why I haven't showed it. And my Naked Smokey is, like, brand new. I just bought it, like, two months ago. Three months ago, something like that, maybe five months ago. I have this pinky shade, this darker pinky shade, and I have this brown, which I really don't like. So these two are usually what I just use. This cream product I hate, but these two I do use, and I hit pan on both of them almost. This one's a little more than this one. So literally, I'll use that like ten more times. I'll probably be done, maybe less. I'm gonna move more. Okay, something I've had for a long time. Since I 
my this might have been one of my first elf purchases. Um, maybe my second because I think I had the other elf one. The one actually looks like the Nars duo. I have this one and it's I don't know. I don't know which one this is, but the blush and I think I got this in a makeup kit for like a holiday. So maybe it's only like two years old, but I don't really like this bronzer too much. I do use it though, and I like this blush. So I'm gonna use that up because I have like 400 other blushes and none of them are a pan at all. All of them are pretty much brand new. Um, even though they're older, they like barely been used. I have a highlighter and I really like this one. It's the one by the Bombs, the Mary Luminizer. I just bought another one on AliExpress. It's from AliExpress. It's like four bucks um, for this. And I can barely see it on my hand. It does work. Not as nice as um, the one I want from The Rock. But the one row for Laura Rock is $22. So I'm waiting on that in the mail. It's going to take like two, three months. So hopefully by then this will be gone. I'll get rid of this one. Next, I have a crap ton of concealers. And the thing is with me with concealers, if I don't like it, I'll stop using it. And I'll buy something new and forget about these. So most of these are actually almost empty. So I'm going to use them up. This is almost empty. I use this. I don't think I'm going to buy it again. It's a dark circle corrector and I do like it. But I think the concealer that I bought now is the only one I really like. Minus, I really like this one too. But we'll go on to that in a minute. But this is like, <laughs> this I'm going to use up. It's a um, NYX Dark Circle Corrector in the color Light Pale. It's DCC02. And like I said, you can see from the bottom, it's almost gone. It's like cracking. And it's not that old. Um, I don't think any of my concealers are that old. Maybe these two might be my oldest, my Revlon. Um, I don't really like either of them, but they're almost empty. You can tell from this one. And this is in... What color is this? This is 01 Fair. And 03 Light Medium. And this is my, um, winter color and my summer color. Or, half the year. Actually, my summer color, I should have less than in but I don't. This I'm literally like <laughs> doing more uses out of this one. And this is the, I didn't like this one, the Rimmel Match Perfect. I didn't like the Revlon ones either. I think I like them. Match Perfect in 230 Fair. And this one has like a little, just a little brush like this. And you like squirt it up and you brush it onto your eye. And I really, really just don't like this. I'm gonna. My thing is, I don't want to throw it away if I'm gonna use it or I can use it. So I want to use this up. It's not a bad product. I just don't like it. I just don't like the way it looks. This I do like, but this one's too dark for me. I already used up the one that was my right shade, and this is almost empty. It's um CW04. It's a NYX concealer, and I really like this more than the potted one. I have a potted one right now because that's what they sell at Target, but this is like almost empty. You guys can't tell. I do prefer this. But I don't ever go to Ulta, and this is from Ulta. And um, this is not the color. I used up the one that is the color that I would need. This is my summer color. This I bought, and this is like 12 bucks. It's the L'Oreal Paris Visible Lift Blur Concealer. And I hate this. It's in 301 Fair Pale. And it's so pink. I'm like, whose skin tone looks like this? I mean, there maybe is somebody, but I'm... I'm freaking white as shit so here's the here's the concealer look this is fair I guess it's not I can't tell on camera but it's so pinky and it looks so bad and I should just throw it away but I'm gonna try to use it a few more times because I think I could spend six dollars on it because I bought it on eBay so maybe it was bad when I bought it maybe I should buy makeup on eBay but I wanted to try it I don't ever see expiration dates on here, so I don't know what when it was purchased. It sucks. Um, this is Elf Maximum Coverage Concealer. This one I'm almost done with in porcelain. I like this. I will repurchase it when I get out of it because I do like it. I have two primers. This is my um, this is the old packaging for the Urban Decay. It has the little squirt tube thing. I think it's a Dofer applicator now. Um, anyway, I have Sin, as you can see by the shape of the package. Well, I'm pretty much almost done. I'm going to use this up. 
because it's old. Um, it must be like four years old, maybe five years old. It's really old. And this I bought on eBay. It's a real thing, but it's definitely expired because I have to shake it to use it. I don't know if that's normal, and sometimes it comes out really liquidy. Um, and I want to use it up because I spent like, I don't know, 15 bucks on it or something. The old kind of packaging. And Sephora didn't have it, Ulta didn't have it. So I bought it on eBay. I have two eyeliners, and this one's sad. <laughs> this one's almost done. Look at this. It's almost to the point where I can't sharpen it. I don't know if I should just even bother with this. I don't think I can sharpen it again. I like having it pointed. So I might just get rid of this. I have a brand new one waiting for me, so I don't know why I keep things like that. But I really like that eyeshadow. It's the cargo, by the way. And this, I'm probably going to use up. I use it all the time. So this I got last year for my birthday. So it's about a year old. My birthday is in May. So the end of May be a year old and it's the Urban Decay 24-7 light on pencil and it's the purple color. It doesn't have the color on there anymore so I have no idea. It says 24 months so I have a whole nother year to use this. So like I said, this has to be used up by next year. And this I got for my birthday two years ago. I have two of them because my mom gave me one too. And her birthday is in August so hers is a little newer. Um, but they're still both, uh, this one is two years old. And this is, I don't know if I just don't like it. It's the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. Looks like this. It's still good. It's a cream product. Um, I have two mascaras open right now, so I kind of want to use them up um, fairly soon because mascara is only good six months. So this is old. Great lash, lots of lashes. And this is just by Maybelline. It's the green and pink package. This is literally like the first mascara I've ever owned. But this isn't the one I first met here. This one I opened like three months ago. This is Max Volume Mascara. I got this on AliExpress. It's just really cute. It's a cat. But this one works really well. So it's like if you get open your eyes because they're really wet, you gotta be careful and let it dry a little bit. So really if you open your eyes, it goes everywhere. I thought I wanna use them. This is gross. It's the mascara I use for my eyebrows. So this is almost gone. It just looks really gross because it's brown eyeshadow on it too. And that's a great lash. It's just like clear mascara. This might be like four years old. Um, I have a brand new one that I haven't used. But this one, this is Airy Fairy by Rimmel London and they discontinued it I think two years ago. So this might be three years old. And it's really pretty. I'll show you guys a swatch. It's like a really pretty pinky new color and it's like and this last one, this isn't that old, but I feel like because of the nature of this product that I should use it up soon. This is a lip butter, and this might be almost two years old, but it's a pink one, and it's strawberry shortcake. It might be a year old, I don't know, but this is all I have left of it, so I want to use it up. I don't particularly love it, but I do like the color a lot. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the formula. Makeup I want to get rid of, um, or I mean use up in the next. Uh, year. That's it. Thank you guys for watching.